Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Mohammed Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, congratulating him on the success of the 41st GCC summit, which concluded today in Al Ula city. His Majesty commended the extensive efforts of Saudi Arabia led by the Saudi King and the Saudi Crown Prince, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, in preparing and organizing the summit, which contributed to its success. His Majesty also expressed pride in the leading role of the Saudi monarch and Crown Prince in developing the joint GCC march and bolstering cooperation and coordination between member states to achieve the aspirations of the people. His Majesty wished the Saudi King success and happiness and the people of Saudi Arabia further progress and prosperity under the wise leadership of the Saudi King. On behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa participated in the 41st GCC Summit held at Marai Hall in Al Ula in Saudi Arabia. Their Highnesses, the leaders and of the GCC countries' delegations were also in attendance at the summit, chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Defense Minister of Saudi Arabia, Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. On behalf of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister expressed sincere gratitude to the Saudi King and Crown Prince as well as the Saudi government and its citizens for their warm and generous hospitality which reflects the depth of relations. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister expressed the Kingdom's pride in receiving the presidency of the next session of the Supreme Council of the GCC, noting the continuation of realizing the aspirations of GCC citizens for a prosperous present and future. He looked forward to the outcomes of Al Ula Summit and its role in re-establishing GCC cohesion while prioritizing the security, stability and prosperity of GCC countries and their citizens. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of strengthening GCC dialogue, a commitment to unity and a new phase in brotherly relations progressing the GCC journey. The summons final communique and Al Ula declaration were then signed. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa attended a lunch banquet hosted by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, in honor of the delegations attending the summit. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa returned from Saudi Arabia after leading Bahrain's delegation on behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa at the 41st GCC Summit. Upon arrival, His Royal Highness was received by the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of the Royal Court, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Governor of the Southern Governorate, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa and a number of senior officials. 
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince sent a cable of gratitude and appreciation to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. In the cable, His Royal Highness thanked King Salman for the warm and generous reception and hospitality during the summit, which reflects the depth of historic relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia. He highlighted the Saudi monarch's efforts in advancing the GCC and its journey. He wished King Salman further good health and Saudi Arabia's security and further prosperity. His Royal Highness also sent a cable of gratitude and appreciation to the Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense of Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. In the cable, His Royal Highness extended gratitude and appreciation for the warm welcome and re received during the summit, which reflects the historic strength of Saudi Bahraini ties. He highlighted the importance of the summit, which was chaired by His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman on behalf of the custodian of the two holy mosques and further strengthening regional security, stability and GCC cooperation, benefiting GCC countries and citizens. His Royal Highness wished His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman further good health and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and its citizens further prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa arrived in Saudi Arabia to lead Bahrain's delegation to the 41st GCC summit on behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Upon arrival at Prince Abdul Majid bin Abdul Aziz Airport, His Royal Highness was received by the Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense of Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, the Secretary General of the GCC, Dr. Naif Al Hajraf, and the Ambassador of Bahrain to Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Ahmoud bin Abdul Allah Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness was accompanied by a delegation which inc includes the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif Al Rashid Al Zayani, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the Private Secretary to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, as well as a number of officials. His Royal Highness expressed pleasure to arrive in Saudi Arabia and expressed his deepest thanks to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, for his keenness to enhance joint cooperation. He expressed pride in the growing level of close historical relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, based on solid foundations and a shared destiny, which continues to contribute to opening wider horizons towards achieving further shared aspirations. He renewed thanks and appreciation for the great efforts made by Saudi Arabia in promoting the GCC and wished for the success of this summit and for its output to meet the aspirations of the citizens of the GCC countries as well as contribute to achieving further growth and prosperity. On behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa had departed the Kingdom of Bahrain to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to lead the Kingdom's delegation to the 41st GCC Summit. His Royal Highness was bid farewell by the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of the Royal Court, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmad Al Khalifa, the Governor of the Southern Governorate, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa and a number of senior officials. The Representatives Council held its weekly meeting chaired by its Speaker, Fawziya Zainab. The Council approved decree by Law 24 of 2020, adding a new article to the Law of Social Associations and Clubs, Cultural and Private Bodies under the Youth and Sports Fields and Private Institutions. The Council also approved a request to issue a commendation statement on the outcomes of the 41st GCC Summit and a statement on the occasion of the anniversary of establishing the National Guard. 
The Health Ministry Under Secretary and member of the National Task Force for Combating COVID-19, Dr. Walid Al-Mana, urged full compliance with all mandatory precautionary measures for combating the coronavirus. Dr. Al-Mana stated that the success of national efforts to curb the spread of the pandemic requires continued social awareness to protect public health and safety. He stressed the need to abide by health protocols and mandatory precautionary measures set by the National Task Force for Combating COVID-19. He warned against any complacency and frecklessness, which would expose the whole society to danger and cause a surge of infections. He affirmed the safety and efficiency of vaccination, which went through various phases of testing, ensuring the occurrence of a strong immune response and continuous antibodies. He added that Bahrain was one of the first countries to receive vaccinations that meet the standards of effectiveness and safety. He asserted that the process of taking the vaccination is proceeding in full swing and smoothly and called on everyone to take the initiative to take vaccinations that will provide protection against the virus. Bahrain Raid Extreme took on the Saudi Arabian desert for stage two of Dakar Rally 2021. Nani Roma and Sebastian Loeb has the chance to put the BRX Hunter to the test across vast stretches of open desert and rolling sand dunes for large portions of the stage. The two drivers set out from Bishop with 685 kilometers of driving as they raced towards Wadi Duwasser. Nani Roma started stage two in the sixth position and after some navigational challenges, finished 16th and Sebastian Lowe finished in sixth. Stage three of the Dakar Rally 2021 takes BRX in Saudi Arabia's empty quarter with vast expanses of empty desert and endless dunes. It will give the drivers an opportunity to test the hunter's top speed with 630 kilometer in total of special stage driving. First till to the, the end, uh, 40 k's to the end, we make the big, big, big mistake in, in navigation. We make up and downs, up and downs, and uh, we, we, lose, we lose a lot, but yeah, it's part of the game, it's part of the cross country, and um, the, we know it's there, but we go back, <laughs> you know, and, but everyone has problems. This means that, yeah, we must accept and uh, to learn and everything, and tomorrow one day more. I think we did a good stage. Some little mistake of navigation around five, six minutes uh, overall, but uh, except of this, we, we did a good stage. Uh, no major problem, the car was working well. We are missing a little bit of performance overall, I think, so we need to, to think about and to try to find uh, some solutions. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 2,419 with 309 recoveries and 288 registered new cases. 146 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 121 are contacts of active cases, and 21 are travel-related. The ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.